The Slime God is a pre-hard mode boss that can be summoned and fought anywhere in the game world. The boss is composed of three main parts, the Cremulum Slime God, the Ebonian Slime God, and the core itself. The boss lore item states, It is a traversity, uh, one of the most threatening biological terrors ever created. If this creature were allowed to combine every slime on the planet, it would come nearly unstoppable. The boss has three parts as mentioned before, the Cremulum Slime with 4,750 health, the Ebonian Slime with 5,350 health, and the Slime God that can be killed after both the Cremulum and Ebonian Slimes have been defeated. So starting with weapons needed, it is recommended that you have one of the following. Balafugu. I think it's pronounced Old Loath Oath Sword, Blade Crest Oath Sword, either one works. Bloody Edge, or the Knight's Edge, or one of the other weapons you could use is Knight Stabber, at least a less common item used. I'm going to be using the Knight's Edge as it has the highest damage output. And for accessories, you can use any of the following. Skyline wings, honey goggles, lightning boots, and you can use specter boots or frostbark boots if you can't get your hands on skyline boots. Shield of Cthulhu, you don't necessarily have to use obsidian shield. This is more like an extra. Worm scarf for the extra damage reduction by 10%. The Nazar for the immunity to the curse effect inflicted by Slime God. And the Aquatic Heart, which tra transforms you into a water elemental that also gives you an ice shield that absorbs 20% of damage but breaks when it's been hit. Off to potions. These are the potions that I recommend for this boss fight. Thorns Potion, so the attacker will also take damage. Swiftness Potion to increase your movement speed. Iron Skin to increase your defense. Regeneration increase. Well, increase regeneration, rage potion, increase your crit chance, inferno to ignite the nearby enemies, endurance to reduce the damage by 5%, and life force to increase your amount of health. Max health is recommended for this boss fight as this is a late hard mode or late pre hard mode boss. And the healing potions, you can use greater healing potions. So, to start the boss fight, you're going to need the overloaded sludge, which I'll show the recipe on screen. Alrighty, so the next thing you're going to need to do is find yourself in anywhere in the game world, as mentioned before, and use your overloaded sludge. This will summon the slime god. Pop your buffs, and then begin fighting. With these buffs, I forgot to turn god mode off, but with these buffs, it, it will shred through the boss. Try not to get hit. The boss is... Easily, you're able to easily go through the boss. If you need to, you can heal. Don't tank the boss. This thing is really hard to tank if you don't have like hard mode gear. Molten armor is recommended, but there's a few other armor types you can use. Of course, simple enough, and there you go. You've beaten the boss. There's a couple of his drops. Purified gel, which is important for many different potions. Slime Puppet Staff, Stagital Blocks, and Eldritch Tome. Mana Polarizer, Let's say Polarizer, Polarizer, and the Slime God Lore Item. And it's simple as that. Thank you for watching and figuring out how to beat this boss that you really shouldn't need a tutorial for. It's a pretty self explanatory boss, but these are some of the recommendations you should take for one fighting bosses in Revengeance and Death Mode. And even Malice Mode, if you're trying to play Malice. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Have a good rest of your day.